Alright, good day and welcome students. This is EnglishTown.com. Thank you so much for joining your teacher online today. And I hope that all the students can hear us clearly. I'm teacher Sean and I come from South Africa. That's right students, your teachers from South Africa, of course, very happy to meet you. If there are any problems regarding the audio or sound today it's very important to let your teacher know about that and of course you can communicate with him in the chat box okay so please let us know if you have any problems preventing you from speaking today all right as I can see there are three four students that we have to welcome now a warm welcome to, to Domenico Giganti, welcome back to English Town, Dominico. Welcome back, Ellen, as well as Saha, and thank you, Sayonara, for joining us. All right now, Dominico, please introduce yourself. Tell teacher, where are you from? Go ahead, Dominico. All right, whatever the reason is, welcome to English Town. All right, Dominico, thank you for much for joining us in today's lesson. And let me know if you have any problems today preventing you from speaking. Okay, the lesson topic today, Domingo, is what's on TV. Okay, so we'll be looking at television programs. All right, so warm a welcome. Let's welcome Ellen. Thank you so much for joining us online, Ellen. Ellen, would you please share with teacher? I'm from South Africa. What country are you from? Go ahead, Ellen. Uh, hello, good evening. Uh, I'm Ellen. I'm from Taiwan. Good evening. Thank you. Good evening, Ellen from Taiwan. Okay, it's afternoon time in South Africa. It's actually 3 p.m. in the mid afternoon. Okay, and it's rather cold and rainy in South Africa today. Okay, so good evening to you. Ellen, so it's evening time in Taiwan. That's a rather interesting. Thank you there, Ellen. Today we'll be talking about what's on TV. Okay, so I hope you will enjoy today's lesson. All right, so it's a warm welcome back to English Town, Sahar. Okay, nice to see you again. Where are you from? Can you please share with the class? Go ahead, Sahar. All right, thank you so much there, Sahar. Ah, of course, a warm welcome back to class. Okay, so you're originally from Palestine. Thank you for sharing that with the other classmates. And of course, I'm very happy to see you again, Saha. And I hope we're going to have a fun yet educational lesson. Okay, so warm welcome, Saha. Let's welcome Sandra Christine. Thank you for joining us online, Sandra. Please share with your teacher what country are you from? Go ahead, Sandra. Good morning, my name is Sandra, I'm from Brazil, I live in Sao Paulo. All right, thank you. So you're joining from Brazil. That's very interesting and thank you, Sandra. San Paulo City, as a matter of fact. Okay, thank you so much, yes. And today we're going to talk about what's on TV. Okay, so I hope you will enjoy today's lesson with me. All right, let's welcome Sayonara Brito. Thank you for joining us, Sayonara. Please tell your teacher what country do you come from? Thank you. Go ahead, Sayonara. Okay, thank you so much. You're another Brazilian student. That's very interesting, Sanyanyara. Okay, so thank you and nicely introduced students. So you've introduced yourself to teacher and I come from South Africa, like I've mentioned. Now, if we look at today's first slide, remember we talk about game shows and news programs that are two different genres on TV. Now, thank you, Bayard. You still have to introduce yourself. Okay, thank you. Yes, thank you for joining us. Bayard, would you quickly, before we start today's lesson, would you quickly introduce yourself, Bayard, and tell your teacher what country are you from? Go ahead. Hello, everyone. I'm Bayard. I'm from Saudi Arabia. Thank you for all. Yes, Bayard, thank you so much. So you come from Saudi Arabia. Okay, so you're all the way from Saudi. Thank you for joining us today. We're going to talk about TV shows. Now, Bayard, 
Okay, could you maybe tell the class what do you understand about the English word genre? Okay, on TV, you enjoy different genres. What would be a genre or your understanding of this word? Could you explain beyond what is a genre? Yes, uh, to tell the world. Uh, I don't know what's exactly a meaning uh, uh, genre, but I think, uh, but I think, uh, but I think that it's uh, like a national interview or national interview or like this, uh, uh, this meaning. Thank you. Thank you, Beyond. Yes, we talk about the genre. Okay, so the genre is a type of style of entertainment. Okay, such as romance, movies, we have comedy, we have adventure. Okay, now when we talk about popular, we talk about the most liked by people. Okay, so popular genres would be things such as game shows and talk shows. Alright, so that is pretty much the entertainment industry okay we talk about genres on TV okay so game shows and news programs are two different genres now could students think of some other types or examples I'd like you to please raise your hands okay starting with Saha Saha what genres do you know about on TV go ahead thank you very good stuff Saha so there are many different types of genres Genres. Okay, we talk about the cooking channel. <laughs> Absolutely, teacher loves the cooking channel because I'm busy learning how to prepare some lovely dishes. Okay, and definitely Jamie Oliver's cooking show is very useful, especially for teacher, of course. <laughs> All right, now cartoons are very good for children. You know that if you have little ones, they'll definitely enjoy cartoons. Maybe Mickey Mouse or Donald Duck. Okay, of course, adventure programs are always very much fun. Okay, adventure programs like Tom Sawyer, and these are all very much most liked or popular by children. Thank you, Saha. Those were some great answers. Now, let's ask Dominkio. Dominkio, what other genre types do you know of that you can mention to us? Go ahead. Right, yes, very good, thank you. Yes, that is definitely what we call different genre types. Thank you, Dominkio. Okay, so sports channels, definitely as well as music okay they also fashion TV and fashion channels absolutely and that's different genre types okay very good stuff Dominguez all right so those are definitely some good genres do we know any other types of genres that has not been mentioned we can give teacher an extra example something we haven't thought about hands up please Okay, go ahead with your answer beyond. Do you know of any other genres that have not been mentioned? Go ahead. Well, to share, yes, we have um, many genres in the, in the old national art, like uh, romantic, right? Like, uh, and in the sport, I don't know it's a sport, uh, it's, uh, the situation or not good for that. Uh, you uh, can answer that. Thank you. Thank you very much, there, Beyond. Absolutely. Okay, Ellen, welcome to the lesson. Ellen, could you give us an extra example? First of all, where are you from, Ellen? Go ahead. Me, I'm I'm from Taiwan. Yeah. Uh, I'm afraid I I didn't uh uh remember. All the all the kind of the the general, uh, but I I think uh, sport and uh, the game game show uh, at, and uh, discovery or competition or uh, talent competitions show. I think uh, yeah that's that's what I know on the TV. Thank you. First of all, you're a little late, Ellen, for the lesson, but never mind. Teacher wants to applaud you for your lovely introduction. Of course, we're all happy to meet you. I'm from the Windy City, South Africa, Port Elizabeth, like Sahar remembered from previous lessons. Yes, we called the Windy City 
We're located on the southeastern part of South Africa, and of course today's no exception. It's rather windy outside, also very cold in South Africa as we are now approaching midwinter. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, it's been raining for the past 26 hours here in my hometown. Okay, so people are pretty much cold and miserable at the moment. Okay, so thank you very much, Ellen, joining from Taiwan. I believe it's late in the evening up that side. Okay, apparently it's 3 p.m. now in South Africa. So, never mind the time, students. Let's get on with this lesson. Okay, so we talk about a genre or type of TV program. As you can see, certain programs are meant to be watched with the entire family. As you can see in the picture, probably that's the dad and there's the mom and that's the little kid. Now when we talk about parental guidance programs, who can tell teacher what does that mean? Okay, when some programs are meant to be parental guidance programs, what do you think that means? I'm going to ask Ellen, the new student. Ellen, what do you understand about parental supervision or parental guidance programs? Go ahead. Okay, what do I watch on TV last night? Uh, I, I see, um, I watched TV uh, with my daughter and uh, we saw a, a game show and it's a singing, singing game. Uh, every, uh, every person uh, have an earphone on their ear and uh, um, the voice are very loud, a different different kind of the music, but they, they should sing another song together and they have a director to point to them how to sing. Uh, oh, it, it was very interesting and uh, they, their sound, their tune, their melody are very, very strange and, uh, and, and uh, they, they can dance sing very well and uh, it's very, it was very funny. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's why I saw. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Ellen. So you say that you watched a TV program with your doctor last night. Well, <laughs> that's very interesting. How did you manage that? Anyway, when we talk about English words such as singular words, okay? Singular words mean one. Now we know that the human body has more than one ear. Okay, we have a pair of ears. So ears meaning the plural two. Okay, so don't get confused between singular and plural. That's the only mistake I could find, Ellen. We talk about a pair of headphones on the ears and not ear, because remember ear means one. It's the singular form of this word. Otherwise, your English is very good. Okay, so you watch the TV program with your doctor. All right, are you friends with your doctor, Ellen? How did you manage that? Sorry, are you asking me? The question? Yes, you said you watched a TV program with your doctor. I'm just very interested. Are you friends with a doctor? How did you manage to watch a TV program with your doctor? Just very interested to know, Ellen. Yes, please answer the question. Sorry, sorry. I, I think my pleasure is uh, <laughs> my, I think my, my daughter. Yeah, my daughter. <laughs> my, my, my children. Got it? <laughs> no, not doctor. Daughter. Okay, teacher did not hear correctly. So that was a daughter. Okay, not doctor. I was like, wow. <laughs> you didn't watch it. You watched it with your daughter. Okay, very good. Now I'm. Now that makes much more sense. Very good, Ellen. Now, Domingo, what did you watch on TV last night? And was it any interesting? Go ahead. Absolutely, it sounds rather sad indeed. Okay, but a very interesting but sad yes. That is not good to see that. Thank you very much. So that's the program you watched, Domingo. Okay, your English is very good, Domingo. Okay, I want you to try and reduce the gaps between your words. That happens when we're trying to think and answer. So I don't want you to do that. I want a more natural sentence flow. Okay, but otherwise, you know what? There wasn't much fault with your English at all. That was very good. So it sounds like a rather sad program indeed. What did you see on TV? last night beyond and was it interesting go ahead 
Thank you, teacher. Well, I watched uh, last night uh, a match between Portugal and Germany. It was an interesting match. I enjoyed, enjoyed uh, uh, through that uh, match. Uh, I, I watched the match uh, with my family, daughter, and wife. Um, you know, uh, and uh, then, uh, after the watch, uh, after the match is finished, it's finished. Uh, I watch the, uh, I watch it. I watch it to film movie. It's, it's very old movie. It's romantic. It's clothing romantic. But some uh, programs in the TV uh, need it to uh, put the children under control by parental uh, to protect uh, themselves from bad behavior. Um, so we have uh, national uh, world national or global national we have uh, uh, badly programs but to, uh, we need to control the tv in the house from this uh, some movies or some it's not good for children and for uh, uh, for kids, because it will be change their change them uh, or change their uh, behavior behaviorism to uh, from good to badly or to, from good to worse. Mm, thank you. I really agree with you beyond. What a lovely answer. So first of all, you watched the football game, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, between those two countries okay but now no one actually answered teacher previously okay you need to restate that and so instead of saying badly program rather say that you need to control the viewing of the children under parental guidance meaning that there's certain programs that we do not allow children to watch and if so they have to watch it in our presence in other words parental guidance means that the whole family must watch the movie together okay so if it's a scary movie if it's a horror or there's something scary about the movie how do you think the child is going to react if he watches it on himself or by himself of course this child will have bad dreams or nightmares so it's always good to have mommy and daddy around do you understand what I mean students some programs you need your parents to watch it with you if of course you're a young child okay so that's what we mean by parental guidance or supervision is that we allow the whole family to watch okay so so hard huh? What did you watch on TV last night? Or could you add anything about parental guidance films? Go ahead. All right, thank you, Sahar. If it's the same program the teacher's thinking about, it's also broadcasted in our country. America's Got Talent. I think that's got to do with singing and dancing. Okay, so various candidates or participants would go up on stage and they'd give their performances, whether it be singing or dancing, whatever skills or talents they have, then of course they perform on stage and then they get evaluated in front of judges. I think Paula, Paula, um, one of the ladies is a very famous singer from the States called Paula Abdul, if I'm not mistaken, and there's Simon, Simon Cowell, okay, also one of the judges. Is that the same program, Sahar? Wow, teacher has definitely seen that program and you found it boring. Yes, sometimes it is quite frankly boring, especially if the performances are not good from the participants. Okay, so it sounds like that is pretty much the same program. Okay, yes, Ellen, protective, parental guidance means protection. Yes, so you need to protect the children. Excellent stuff. So we don't want them to see adult films and violent action movies. That is not good for children. 
Right, excellent, my students. Very good. Are there any questions? All right, students. I take it there are no further questions. So these are some popular TV genres worldwide. Okay. Now, what happens in them? If we look at the blue block, we have documentary, game show, talk shows, news, reality TV, and a cooking show. Now, I'm going to ask. Sandra, Sandra, you haven't spoken much today. What are some of the most popular TV genres worldwide and what happens in them? Can you tell us, Sandra? Go ahead. All right, Sandra, do you know of any popular genres worldwide? If so, what happens in them? Go ahead, Sandra. In my country, is most popular genres is a documentary, talk show and news and soap operas. Okay, very interesting soap operas. So that's like romance programs on TV. Excellent stuff. So thank you. Yes, so soap operas very popular. You said talk shows and documentaries. Okay, excellent stuff, Sandra. Now, what are the most popular TV genres worldwide? Okay, what other genres can you think of? Let's ask Biyad to go next. Well, teacher, I think the news and the game shows mm, more famous in the world. Yes. News and game shows are the most popular. Okay, Biyad, interesting, definitely. It's good to keep track with news such as international and local events. Okay, so news and Game shows, interesting beyond. Let's give it to Ellen. Ellen, what are the most popular ones in your country? Go ahead. Uh, every time I turn on the TV, and uh, I always see the the talent talent competition. I uh, like singing. Uh, I think many many young people like to be the singer or the. Uh, the the famous 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 singer on the TV and they they want to make them uh, be popular and uh, I think it's very very uh, very popular uh, in my country uh, like the talent competition and we can uh, we can see what they what their talent and they do very very well singing or uh, play guitar or anything uh, is wonderful thank you. Absolutely. Thank you, Ellen. There are so many different types of genres on TV. Okay, whenever you turn on the news, it's usually bad news. Have you noticed? Okay, is that it's usually such bad news when we turn on the news. But it's very important to know what's going on in the world today. Absolutely. Okay, so thank you there, Ellen, and thank you, students. Okay, so that was our vocabulary slide today. And Sahar says that National Geographic is one of her favorite channels. All right, she just started watching this dog whisper program. Of course, you learn how to train your dog, teach him some new tricks. Okay, yes, and I think that's an Italian man, it's a short Italian man that is one of the main hosts or actors in that program. Thank you very much, students. Any questions? All right, so students, now we've spoken about genres and many of you have already told teacher how much you like certain genres. So as you can see in the speech bubble, I really love watching soap operas, says this person. Soap operas are exciting. I don't like reality TV. That's so boring. Okay, and of course, cooking shows are my favorite. they really helpful. Teacher is a big fan of cooking shows as it teaches you some various tricks in the kitchen as how to prepare some delicious dishes for mom, of course. All right, so that is very useful. And educational programs are also good for children. Now, that brings us to a very interesting question. What genres do you think are suitable for children? And which ones do you think is not good for kids? Raise your hand, students. Which ones are best for kids and why? So if you had to choose three for children, which ones would they be and why? Absolutely, Sahar. So I would also say documentaries, such as the ones 
about animals and nature, very educational programs for kids. Also, the news could be good. It's, it's good for children to know what's going on in the world, as well as cooking shows. Maybe they can prepare a lovely meal for mom on mommy's day or mother's day. So that would be three very good choices of uh, TV shows. Now, Ellen, which do you think would be the best for children and why? Go ahead. Uh, I agree for for your um, your opinions uh, that uh, uh, the the children the I think the suitable suitable show is um, documentary and the uh, news and they can the the, doc, the documentary uh, um, can help them to learn uh, their knowledge and uh, they can know um, or what. What do the people do, and the what, what have they done a good job? I can learn uh, from that. Okay, thank you. And the, and I, uh, mm, almost the time I watch t I, I watch the news because every time uh, the I don't I don't like the the other the other uh, program, but the news I we can can help me to know uh, what happened uh, in the country, what happened for the society. And uh, I can know many, many, many stories uh, from uh, good people. Thank you. All right, thank you. Very good, good stuff there, Ellen. So you say that the news is not good for children these days. OK, sorry, that was Sahar's message in the chat. OK, yes, it's usually bad news. Unfortunately, when you turn on the news, it's usually bad news. OK, now a better word than simply just learn. We know that learn is slightly overused in English, Ellen. So are the words good and bad? How often have you heard these words? It's good good lesson, good students, good marks, good performances. Now, we don't try and use the word too many times. I think a better word to fit would be expand their knowledge. Not only just learn new things, they expand their knowledge, especially documentaries that teach them about nature and animals and so on. I definitely agree with you. Well done, Ellen. Now, Dominkio can go next. Thank you, Dominkio. Thank you, Domenchio. I hope I've pronounced your name correctly. It was very difficult for teacher at the first. Okay, very good point that you made. Okay, now we see that it's educational for children, not just the simpler or shortened word educate. Okay, it becomes educational, not educating. Okay, educating is actually a verb and it's in the present tense. Okay, so there is a slight change. It's educational when you talk about it from a general perspective. Okay, very good stuff, students. I'm very impressed with your English. I want you guys to practice your English in the final task. As you can see, your friend is coming over to watch. You need to decide on a TV program that you both like. Okay, so who would like to be our student A? Yes, Domenico, it is educational, not just the other one educating. Okay, remember we're talking about a general term, generalization. It's educational to children. Okay, so Sahar, thank you. You will be student A. Okay, who wants to be student B? Who would like to speak with Sahar as student B? Raise your hand, please. Okay, Ellen. If you don't mind, can you be student B? Okay, student B is Ellen and student A is going to be Sahar. Okay, let's start our final task. Thank you, students. So, what what kind of the show do you want to to want to watch? Can you pick again? So now uh, there are three channel uh, for the for the shows. The first one is Sports Week, the second uh, is Days of Our Life, and the third uh, the Great War. Uh, do, you, do you want to show the Channel 1 Sports Week? I don't like either because I don't, I don't do exercise. <laughs> and the sport, the sport again uh, make me very boring. What do you think? 
Yeah, the days of our life. I think, um, yeah, in a soap opera, uh, uh, that's good, and uh, I I like the story. Do you agree? Okay, that's great. Uh, let's uh, let's go to buy some popcorn and uh, come to watch TV together. Let's go. Yes, don't forget the popcorn. Well done, students. Okay, so Days of Our Lives, it is Sahar. Uh -huh. You're going to watch Days of Our Lives with Ellen. Thank you so much, students. How was today's lesson? I really hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thank you, students. It was great. Okay, so I really enjoyed this lesson and I hope that the students have found it the same. Okay, I hope that teacher could help you with your English today. I want to say a round of applause. You guys are very good with communicating in English. Okay, try to watch more English channels so that you can hear more words being spoken. I think that your pronunciation is good. You just need to learn some new vocabulary. Okay, try to avoid slang. Try to avoid overused words such as good and bad. Okay, do not use overused words. Rather, replace them with new ones. Okay, so that's my tip for today. Try and reduce the gaps in your speaking. Now when you speak, students leave gaps between their words. I don't know if it's the sound or maybe they are a little unsure. So I want to work I want you to work on your confidence and try and reduce the amounts of gaps between your words. Watch English news channels so you can hear more words being pronounced. Otherwise I think you were outstanding today. I really hope you will use these suggestions to improve your English. So I'd like to ask if there are any final questions. Excellent students. Okay, I'm very happy you enjoyed today's lesson. It was great to see you again at English Town, Saha. Wish you all the best with your English and you improving so vastly and also quickly. It's very good to see you. And Dominguez, thank you very much. I'm sorry about mispronouncing the name. Maybe you can give me some pronunciation tips. Okay, and thank you to Ellen once again for joining us. Now, unfortunately, it's time to get going. All right, so thank you for your website, and I just got that in the chat box. Thank you very much there, Saha. Definitely check that out. Okay, thank you students. Until next time, goodbye everyone. Have a super day.